Hello there, Stefan and Martin here from Schildwache Potsdam. And today we are going to talk about the long-term review for the Black Fencer Sharp Simulators. So we got these one-handed Sharp Simulators actually five years ago. And in numbers to um, found our course at the University of Potsdam. So these are pretty much have the pretty much the same statistics as the blunt ones, but they are a bit a uh, bit more expensive. So while the blunt one-handed swords come in at around uh, 50 to 55 euros, these are at around 65 euros. So you have a bit of an up margin for the sharp simulator. In terms of studs, they are a little bit heavier. They are a little bit stiffer, or actually quite a lot stiffer in the case of the uh, long sword compared to the blunt ones. And of course, they have these little uh, sharp nudges, which, uh, which should simulate the binding of sharp swords when they get in contact to each other. Okay, first off, these, like every Black Fence sword simulator, held up really, really well. So since the five years we used, no sort of none of our swords broke. There were, I think, two where like one little nudge broke off, but in one sword that was already the case after delivery and one other, I think, uh, broke off during heavy sparring. But nothing really major, nothing to worry about, nothing that uh, limits the use of these swords. So the durability is really nice and the effort for maintenance is really, really low because obviously these are nylon swords. You maybe have to brush over the cross and the pommel just a bit, but everything else is super easy to just store away. You pr should probably hang them because if you just stand them on the ground, like many other swords, these can develop uh, some dent. But then again, uh, if you can easily bend them back again, so that's no problem at all, in my opinion. Just take them in your bathtub, like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you heat them up, they will deform in one way or the other way better. So leaving them out in your trunk on a hot summer day, you might uh, get some uh, bent swords, like the guys from, I don't know, who, who does things with bent swords, I don't know. So, okay, five years. These were the first swords you started, Hima, with Stefan. What's your, what's your experience? Yeah, uh, it's hard to compare. Uh, f another first sort since this you have only one first sort but I um, I pretty much liked it because um, w when I started HEMA and when I first came into contact uh, we also didn't have any loner gear here and uh, as maximum some gardening gloves so it had to be sm uh, controlled and slow a slow environment and having this uh, yeah, this feature, this um, simulation of sharpness, of course, helps in getting into the mindset of fencing with real weapons. Okay, they're still plastic, they might have some benefits to them, but also some uh, disadvantages. But in overall, I would say I enjoyed starting with them. And I think I, uh, they helped me a lot in the beginning to make fast progress and not getting into the habit of many of those artifacts people tend to have with uh, blunt weapons. Yeah, so one big pro of these is that if you strike them to each other, they um, bounce way less than the blunt simulators. So these actually, you could imagine, stick to each other, which is of course their purpose. But that makes them much more like steel swords actually. So we also have, for example, some foam buffers, which are great uh, swords uh, as well for their price and have their own purpose. But these tend to like bounce quite a lot. And with these, you have almost no bouncing. So that's a, a great thing. A bad thing about these is so that especially in slow speeds, you have like a threshold when they bind where they're unlocked. 
So you can give quite a lot of pressure and nothing really happens. And then with from one, one moment to another, they unlock and then it gets really fast and unsafe. So actually for really low gear sparring, I think these are not as safe as steel weapons actually. And definitely not as, uh, not as safe as the blunt black fencer. So I would definitely, and now I would always definitely uh, recommend to, to you to wear at least fencing mask if you go for any partner drills. Okay, so always put safety first, that's really important. Another pro of these is they are generally cheap price. So, like I said, you can get these between 50 and 60 or 70 euros plus shipping, and that's way less than any steel sword, especially if you want to get a lot of loner gear quickly. These are a great start for people to get into this hobby. And that's this, it shouldn't be underestimated how much um, there are barriers for people to get into the sport and costs is one of the major things I think. So getting a fencing mask, getting a sword, getting gloves, this already can be quite expensive and then you have to get the jacket, the, uh, the heart, uh, knee and elbow protection, this all sums up, you know what I mean, if you practice this hobby for long enough. And then you have the sword addiction as well. <laughs> so one thing that um, Black Fencer is really good is if you want your club to have like a variety of swords for people to try out, to fence with longer swords, with shorter swords, heavier, lighter, with different blade profiles, it's quite nice to get quite a bunch of these in different uh, forms and shapes and let people try them out for themselves. Okay, another bad thing about these is that in faster sparring, the threshold where they unlock these like um, really accelerating stuff, that happens way less, but now you have a sword with a lot of little hammers actually. So all these little nudges here they can hit your hands if you uh, wear low protection quite hard, actually. And they're way less safe, again, than any other black fences or even steel swords, for yes. that matter. Okay, so usually with these nylon swords, you have a really wide edge profile, which makes the energy disperse over a larger area and th thus uh, hitting less hard. But here you have, again, concentrated that force into a tiny little space, like I said, a little hammer, and that makes them not as great for faster sparring if you still wear, wear low gear. But if you wear full gear and go medium to fast speed with these, then these feel actually great again. So uh, we handled sharp swords quite a bit over the time, and I think this actually is really a great simulator if you have the gear and are willing to uh, fence at speeds on in medium to high intensity. So there these really shine. You have a much better sensation of the bind. You can feel a lot better, are sharper, and you once again need these fine motor motions unlocking the blades and winding in and out and use these to your advantage. Of course, keep in mind that uh, mostly they're still less flexible than, for instance, feathers or other training weapons. So even even a hard thrust is something you still might hold back a bit, especially against the mask or the throat or something. Yeah, that's definitely true. Especially the ones with the sharp simulators. These are really unflexible. With a one-handed sword in the blunt version, it's way better and with a long sword in the blunt version it's again way better. So be careful with thrusts. Okay, and I think that's it. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, uh, remember to leave us a like, share this video with a friend. You can also support us on Patreon. We always appreciate any support to help us uh, releasing and producing this video week after week for free. And thank you for your time and until next time, ciao. Goodbye.